Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hi and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, welcome back. FG Normal was in contact with me again, asked me if I wanted to show you some more diamond paintings. So, I have a lot in here. So, I'm going to split this up again like last time into two videos. So, I'll show you half in this video and half in the next. So let's see what we all have in here. I have a couple of things that are not diamond paintings and some of them are larger diamond paintings. So, or do I just have one thing? Yeah, I have one thing that is not diamond painting. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I will show six, six. I'll show you three diamond paintings in this video and the diamond painting tools that I got. And I'll save these bigger ones for part two. Okay, so, oh, look at the pretty colors. <laughs> Let's show the tools that I got first and that is this set of straighteners. I use straighteners a lot <laughs> in my diamond paintings especially square drill diamond paintings to straighten them out and I have never seen a set like this before where we have all these different size straighteners. So I thought this would really come in handy. So you can see all the different sizes. So one thing that I do like to use these for, and this big one's going to come in handy for that, not only to straighten out your rows, I like putting this alongside the edge of the diamond painting when I am doing like the first column or the first row on top and it helps keep my drills straight. When you start a diamond painting, the outside row and column is probably the most important to get them straight and even, right? And the rest of them will kind of fall into place especially squares. Um, so I like to put like an old credit card or something like that along the edge. But having something this nice and long is going to come in really handy. Typically, uh, you have a little bit of that adhesive, that glue, um, that extends past your drilling area. And while that can be a pain in the butt in some cases, in other cases it comes in handy. Because when I put something along the edge to keep things straight, this stays in place. So yeah, I thought these would really come in handy. There is a marking on each one. So this is a 10 inch. And then we have an 8 inch. and a six inch. So we're going up by two inches each time. I'm assuming a four inch, yep. And then probably a two inch. Yes. Now straighten, straightening out the columns and rows of the drills themselves, you know, probably either one of these two, your smaller ones, would come in the most handy, or the handiest, not the most handy. Um, but again, I think for along the sides and the top, these big ones are really going to come in handy. <laughs> So, as usual, I will leave a link to FG Normal's website, as well as direct links to each of the diamond paintings and to this tool set down in the description below, so that it's easier for you to find these items if uh, they kind of interest you. So, let's put this back in the packaging. 
because heaven knows I would lose one or two <laughs> on its way up to my diamond painting room. Okay, let's get on to the diamond paintings themselves. Let's look at this pretty colorful one first. Like I said, I did pick out some other than 30 by 30. A lot of time I like to pick out 30 by 30s. There's just nice, fast, easy diamond paintings to do. This one is a 30 by 40, so just a little bigger. But it was so colorful. You know I love my bright, pretty colors. Every color of the rainbow. So, we have our beautiful flower with the rainbow. And I dropped the toolkit. You just get a, a standard toolkit with the green boat. Put that over there. Alright, so like I said, it's a 30 by 40 full round. Now, if you are one that does not like confetti, this would be perfect for you because it's almost all block color blocking. So like the background is all tees, um, the purples, little teeny bit of confetti in here. But the vast majority, 95% of it is all color blocking. So this will be a very, very fast diamond painting to do. And like I said, with those tools that I just showed you, you could put maybe one of the longer ones along here, up on top, and along the side. Now there's not a lot of glue outside the drilling area. A little bit more on this side, not a lot on top, but I think there's enough there to stick that to it. Now I know a lot of people put washi tape around theirs to prevent, you know, fuzzies and if you have pets, you know, pet hair to get on that area. Um, I'm going to be leaving that on though, because like I said, you can stick those tools on there, or if, you know, you do use an old credit card or whatever, it keeps it in place. So for me, I actually like it <laughs> when the glue comes out beyond the drilling area. But isn't that cute? Just fell in love with all them bright colors. So let's look at the drill. Now we're going to have lots of pretty colors. All right, one moment. My iPad froze. Oh, now I think it caught up. I don't know what its problem is today. Did that once before. Okay, so I am going to zoom you in. Now, are these the same? Yeah, so we have two big packs. That must be the background blue. Isn't that pretty? Looks real sky blue on the iPad, so I don't know if that's what it's coming through. But it is more of an aqua color, so it's really pretty. We have that gold color off-white and a real light tan. Where's the light tan go? Oh, it must be over like for the clouds. It's like a 24 W's. So yeah, it's down in here. And again, the symbols, super, super clear. Extremely clear. You would have no problem seeing these. Oh my gosh, look at this. Pretty colors. <laughs> Pretty colors. Ooh, pale yellow. Gorgeous pale purples. Must be for the clouds. Light green, a real light gray. Big pack of yellow. And a sage green. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty pink and orange. Dark orange. Oh, 
big pack of yellow orange. That really pretty pale blue. Some greens. Big pack of this mint green. I love that color. Red. Kind of a beige. Pale blue. Oh my gosh, isn't that going to be pretty? Loving all the colors. Yes, bright, beautiful colors. Now, hopefully, hopefully, that's how long the package is. Yes. <laughs> I always like to check. Okay, here comes the crinkle noise. ASMR. So there is the first one. Let's set that off to the side. And let's look at the second one. Now, because I am getting quite a, a lot of um, these smaller diamond paintings built up in my stash, I will be again at some point in the future. I want to wait till I have a few more. Um, be doing another mystery box giveaway. I did this once before, and it's just kind of to get back to you guys. Um, where the diamond paintings are free, you just pay for shipping. So, yeah, maybe uh, either June or July I'll do that. But look at this adorable kitty. I think I have to zoom out a little bit more. This is a small 30 by 30. 21 colors in our pretty purple kitty. We do have, as usual, the number, the symbol, DMC code. As far as confetti, this one does have more confetti in it. Um, but again, that's what's going to give you the detail in this cute little kitty. Ooh, looks like we have some pretty aqua colors in it. There is quite a bit of block drilling too, though. Um, just more detail in the kitty itself. Look at them pretty green eyes. All right, let's look at the drill. All right. Little, little caboose on this train. So we have a pretty blue and an off-white. Imagine we'll be having a lot of blues and purples in here. Turn this around this way. Oh, look at that gorgeous purple. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> really pale, kind of a mint green, bluish gray. Oh, another pretty purple. We have some green. Must be in the eyes. Dark green, real dark blue. Look at these pretty blues and more. So we have all the shades of blue. Love that bright spring green. It's got to be in the eyes. So those eyes are going to be gorgeous. And here come the beautiful purples. <laughs> there must be two packs of them. Yes. Two pretty packs. I like that lilac color. Little bit of black. Ooh. Gray. And then a little bit of light pink. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, so, yeah, that's going to be so pretty. And again, I think it's going to be one that would go pretty fast because there's not a lot of um, confetti where you would be switching out colors. I mean, it, it is confetti, but yet it's not. Like, there's a lot of S's around, but you're still going to have the S's in your tray 
for quite a while because you can do them all. And then we have some O's, you know, spread around. So it is confetti, but yet it's not. Does that make sense? Let's make this a little bit bigger of a train because otherwise I won't get it back in the packaging. Let's see. Can we go that long? I hope. Let's watch as Lisa struggles. And more ASMR moments. You're welcome. <laughs> For those of you who like it. If you don't, you'll just have to mute it for a bit, I guess. Until you see I am done getting it back in the packaging. Well, yep. That's it. Success. Wrap it. Tight. All right. So let us go on to the last one, number three. Some more pretty colors. <laughs> and where's the edge? Where's the edge? They probably laugh at us as we're unboxing. Oh, it's at the end. As we're trying to show these on our channel and struggle. <laughs> and another two will get. I know about you, but I have those coming out of my ears. So another 30 by 40. And it is another full round. And it is just an abstract diamond painting. So just tons and tons of colors in here. Now this is kind of a, a combo where we do have some color blocking, but yet we also have confetti. I would say on this one probably, well, no, because there's a lot of color blocking in here. And then the confetti through here. So, yeah, it, it's a combination of both. But, yeah, isn't that pretty? Like I said, it's it's not anything in particular, but just, I don't know, really called out to me. <laughs> Again, probably because of the bright colors. So, we're going to take a look at these bright colors colors. I always like showing the drills themselves because while you can tell what the, what the diamond painting is, you know, printed on the canvas, it's never an actual true representation until you see the actual color of the drills themselves, right? Okay, let's take a look at this train. Zoom me back in. I have this dark red, big pack of that pretty pink. It's a different color. A little dark maroon. Dark red. Oh, that's a pretty mint green. Oh, the cow. Big pack of that red orange. That's pretty. Kind of a green gray. Oh, and a big pack of that yellow orange. Wow. Pretty blue. Oh, it's not pretty. Red. Pale, pale pink. Red brown and a tan. Another lighter mint green. Kind of an ochre color. Big red, we'll say. <laughs> kind of a mauve. Sage green and kind of a grayed, no, not a grayed lavender, kind of a lighter mauve. Oh, very pretty. All them bright colors. So, another one that I think would be so much fun to do. 
Now, if you feel, or let me know down in the comment section below, if you would, um, some type of diamond paintings that you would like to see. Um, seeing as how I'm going to be doing um, a number of mystery boxes for you guys, I, of course, have been picking out what appeals to me, but I am not the one that's going to be doing a lot of these diamond paintings. I'm going to be forwarding these on to you guys. So, let me know, like I said, down in the comment section below, I'll leave this out for now, um, what you would like to see me pick out. Do you like animals? Do you like mandalas? Um, special drills uh, type of pictures? Um, abstract, flowers, kitties? Um, let me know and I will do my best to pick out some of those diamond paintings for you guys. Um, like I said, I've been picking out things that have appealed to me up to this point, but again, I won't be doing all of these. I do want to do some of them, um, but yeah, the vast majority of these I'm going to be giving back to the diamond painting community. Um, so yeah, we have this beautiful abstract. We have our adorable kitty and our rainbow flower. And of course, the toolkit. Now I guess you can't call it a toolkit because that's what these are. So we'll call it a straightener kit. And again, I'm going to leave all the links down below in the description to all of this. So this again is part one and I will be recording part two right after this. And you'll see it uh, in a few days. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button on your way out. I love reading through your comments. So leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below in the description. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. As always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.